Hello and welcome everybody to another shared graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this uh, completely procedural um, water ripples shader uh, which I created using shared graph. Um, so let's just jump into it. I already created a PBR material or shader uh, which, oops, which doesn't have anything right and the first thing that we want to do is to get a tiling and offset node um, and then if we get the distance from 0 0.5 0 0.5 you will see this nice <coughs> circular gradient I guess it's called or whatever it is um, and we will use this uh, and it's basically because this is 0 0 and this is 1 1 right uh, and so the distance from uh, 0 0.5 to here is the same as to here, etc. And that's why it's black in the center and um, white at the edges. All right, and then we will use this for um, a gradient. So our gradient will look something like this. All right, and we will sample it using this guy. And this will give us basically the a one ripple, right? And then we can use this to connect it to um, normal from height node, which would ch uh, uh, um, convert it to basically a normal map. Um, and then you can use that. Uh, okay, so let's get the, the, the scene color node. <coughs> and let's get screen position. Right, and we can just add these two before connecting it to the scene color. And then uh, just connect it to the albedo and make sure your material is transparent. Save that, go outside, so I guess try bring this guy here, and you can see this giant ripple in the center, right? Let's move it here. All right. So what's next? Let's use, um, all right, so we, we, we need, oops, we need a tiling parameter. Let's put it as five and let's connect it to the tiling of the tiling and offset. And for this stuff to repeat, we will use a fraction node Right, so now you have ripples all over. And what we want to do is to uh, um, randomize where is the center of the ripple, right? And it's basically by randomizing these two values. And we can do that by um, using a floor of the UV, which would give us a block of zero, a block of zero one, uh, a block of one one, etc. right? And then we can use um, this as the seed of a random node, right? Which would give us a random node, a, a random uh, a value for each one of these squares. And I would like it to be between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7. And we want uh, a second one for one for the x and one for the y, so that it's not. Um, same for both of them so that it, it, it goes all over the, the place not not only like this and that right and we will just add any any value to um, to this value you can add whatever you want so that the seed is different 
and so the random the output basically is different for the random uh, node right and then we will connect both of these to a vector2 node oops and connect that to the distance and you can immediately see that it's all randomized now right okay so we we want the ripple to uh, grow right and we can do that by adding a value to the distance to the output of the distance and this value is going to be related to um, time right so we will get time and we will also get the fraction of the time so that goes from 0 to 1 and loops back again and we will add these two together and you can see it's it's uh, the other way around right and what we can do for that is basically um, one minus Uh. All right, you just need to add like point five or whatever to that. And you can see now your ripples, right? Now we have a problem here: is that they are um, they are hitting the, the the bounds of this square. And so what we want to do is uh, we want um, what do we want? We want this to go to to white, basically, just before it. We want it to lerp basically to white just before it hits the the. Uh, the bounds of the square and we can also do that by using the this value and connecting it to a gradient um, gradient sample right and we want the the gradient to be basically from white to black And we will lerp right. and just move this guy here so that as you can see it will fade out just before hitting the bounds. Right? And if we use that you will see they are fading out. Now, the problem with this now is that we need more randomization for, for fading out, right? And we can use that. We can do that by getting the floor of the time, right? Which for each one second, it will give us, well, it, give, it will give us one and then two and then three, right? And so we can use that as the seed of a random node right as you can see <coughs> and we can basically add the original time and the random value I think I missed up. Uh, okay, I guess I need random value based on each tile, right? And so we can basically do this, or let's add a different value so that it's 
different from that one. All right. Yeah, that's what we need. <coughs> See? We don't need this one. And this is the basic idea of it, right? Uh, you can obviously change the speed of the ripples by creating a parameter and multiplying it by the time. So now they are slower. And what else? I guess that's mostly it, right? We can now uh, select most of these, right? This, 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 this. Without this. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, let's keep this outside. And right click, convert it to a subgraph. And let's call it ripple right and what I want to do is create a second one now uh, we want also to expose um, the offset of the original tiling and offset node right And we will just connect the same parameters. Whoops. You can also make them a little bit bigger. Um, and so you can just multiply the tiling by, let's say, 0.7. And connect that to the tiling. And then give this like a, a 0.5 offset on both x and uh, y. And now we can do normal blend and connect that instead so that you have uh, these ripples um, going into each other, basically. Uh, and I guess you should actually go for like 5.5. .5. Oops, what's going on? 5.5. 5 5.5 all right now you can see it's much better now if you save this and if you go outside go back here and let's grab this guy hit this thing and then increase the tiling you will see now it's it's very uh, uh, it looks like this because the, the normal is very strong and you can go back add uh, strength value which would go to um, strength normal strength and go here let's give it up and to default save that go back here now it's better i think it might be even it might even look better if it is in the minus i am not sure but uh yeah that's mainly it as you can see completely procedural uh water ripples so that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next one